Hello everyone, welcome to this next edition of Market Ruburu. Today I have with me Vital Shinde. If you have been following our episodes on 1st of April, we had uh, released one video where we had talked about a possible market bottom. At that time, the whole sentiment was very, very bearish and there was almost like people were talking about uh, 15,000, 12,000, 10,000, whatever. But we had given a possibility that it looks like the market has bottomed out. There might be a possibility of a rally. And uh, of course, that was completely on the basis of charts. And uh, after that, uh, like we, we will show today, Nifty has gone up by almost 1000 points and there are so many stocks which have gone up by 20-30%. And all this was in spite of so many news flow from the international markets, uh, including the Fed meeting and uh, Ukraine and uh, whatever, China, whatever. But uh, like we had discussed that uh, one, I should always be on the exit, you should take trades which are affordable uh, on the stop loss basis. And you should take the trade with one eye on the stop loss. And if you had taken that, uh, what would have happened? We'll show, we'll take a quick recap of what, how the market has gone uh, from 1st April to today. And uh, whether this will still continue, no one knows. Uh, maybe uh, like we came at the market bottom, I hope we are not coming back at the market top. Uh, of course, for that time will tell us. Uh, no one can predict anything about the market ever. So that time will tell next week, next 10 days will tell. But as of now, what the how is the market looking? So welcome, Vital. So what do you have to say? Thank you, sir. Uh, we really had a good uh, rubaru when we analyzed the market on 1st of April. Yeah. So that was a very bullish, positive week. And most of the stocks and uh, uh, most of the indices were showing a kind of support pattern. So we were just assuming if this support is real support we will definitely get some fresh breakouts how to analyze low risk trades low risk investing strategies we had discussed those uh, concepts so we'll just uh, take it more further yeah. today we will also talk about a concept called weighted average index which is a trade point feature and how i can use that weighted average index to make or formulate one uh, group of stocks of your own of portfolio. your own uh, so, so we will have some objective methods even to filter those stocks okay so uh, after filtering those stocks how we can look for investing or some bullish strategies on that i will show bullish strategies today due to time constraint we will we, we are not able to discuss much but similarly uh, if i discuss for bullish strategy we can exactly do the opposite for the bearish strategy if market turns bearish yeah so if and when objectively market turns bearish right. not only because of something yes, yes. which uh, so we can says. formulate such type of objective methods using trade point uh, where we have amazing tools developed by, by the team and which are time tested so uh, let so us so if you take us back to first april uh, how sectors have performed how some stocks what kind of returns some stocks have given from first april on the performance table okay we will see so if i come to the uh, table in table we have a performance table as an option so whenever i click performance table i get this window and i can give from date to date and analyze the performance. So the last column for period, this is the last column for period. This is pertaining to the two dates that we have mentioned. Right. So as we had taken the uh, last analysis on 1st of April. Yes. So we are having all indices of NSC. I am yeah. taking it on EOD. This is the yesterday's close. Okay. Even today, if there are there is some bullish close on other indices. Yeah. We might have uh, even more percentage here. So we can see where the uh, indices so nifty it still is underperforming but not very underperforming and if we see we have reality auto so auto sector we had really analyzed that time yes. where we were looking for bullish trade so maruti ashok leland bajaj auto those were the stocks that we discussed that time which are really doing good we will come to the individual charts also so we see alpha 50 which was an underperforming index showed some signs of recovery right now it is also bullish eight percent up and uh, of course if i sort it from alphabetically we see nifty 50 also more than thousand points rally yeah. bank nifty also is doing good so bank nifty uh around six to seven percent it is up from uh the first april. first april so the main question is fine you have identified the 
good low risk entries for long uh, maybe for short term or long term whatever based on 1% 3% charts but how does it look now whether uh, this bull run is going to continue or whether it is nearing a dead end so let us uh, come to one of the tools from trade point if i open a chart let me i have some saved session here so i'll open a chart so this is the nse sectorial chart here so i am opening the uh, sectorial charts here and we have a very objective method for analyzing where we can have a sideways price action time correction or price correction okay. so after doing some rally price tend to revert to the mean so whether we price are, correction or a, yeah, it, it might be a time correction also so at times we might have a sideways market at times we might have a pullback towards the mean so we also have a tool to understand if i come and add study so we have a disparity, disparity. index so i am taking disparity index so as i have plotted a ema channel of 89 i'll take the disparity also for the same period okay. so i am taking disparity for 89 period because the averages here are ema of high and low of 89 so, so disparity is how much the instrument is away from the correct uh, mean yeah. in from the mean so if i uh, come and plot here so i can understand that historically how far the prices have gone from the mean yeah so if if we calculate we the increase this uh, yeah we can increase this so this disparity is giving me from that 89 mean how far the prices can go and then they can correct yeah. so maximum time when really the markets are really very bullish we can have uh, prices going more than or maybe up to 20% from that mean okay so right now if uh, if we consider today's close so this is as per yesterday's close i but think today it is closing at more or less similar price similar yeah 17 yeah. points it is up right now yeah. so the disparity shown here is not more than 8% so there is still steam left here so i would say that as per the weekly uh, we have still a lot way to go because last time when we had a pullback the pullback the disparity was around more than uh, 13 14% okay. so uh, this is how I will look for a pullback after the uh, index has rallied more than 10 to 12 percent. So let us see similar things here on major indices or sectors also. So if I can consider sectors, so auto is somewhere which is showing uh, a disparity that has really rallied. So we might get some sideways cool or cool, yeah. cool downing in auto. So maybe now if, here one must uh, i must mention that cool down doesn't necessarily mean bearish. correction yeah uh, you can have a sideways period where within plus minus couple of percent or three percent here and there and maybe this is a time to look at straddles, straddles. In these stocks. so i always uh, as you have always in your presentation shown the atm straddles if they go sideways we can yes. if we are having any uh, positions open so we can look for trading those straddles Correct. So auto uh, seems to be, so bank again uh, seems to be a, a good runner, but I don't think we might immediately have some correction or sideways, maybe pullbacks, uh, currently bank nifty, all pullbacks were dips to buy. Yes. So we always, irrespective, when whenever the markets are really in strong momentum, even in an intraday time frame, I always recommend to buy on any bullish patterns currently irrespective of sma we can look for buying if we get low risk pattern so, so i only, just only thing which i can say is yes it is still bullish yes it is likely to continue but uh, again every time we cannot predict what can happen so as long as you are getting good long entries with affordable risk yeah so something similar to what we have said on first april but now that it is very uh, i mean okay not very it is overbought overbought and stretched so anything can happen maybe the pullback can be deeper but since right now the setup is still bullish, bullish. keep looking for uh, low risk long end long. so i'll just share one trade that happened last friday last friday we had a correction of more than 1000 points in bank nifty yes in fact everyone and had become very yeah hard. so uh, that time what was the perspective so, so i have opened the nifty bank chart and i am going to a hourly view i am opening this on hourly view and i get a hourly view so if i plot the moving averages so I'll take 89 high and low again. 
even on the hourly i see this so even if i plot low so i had also so you get a band yeah so i also tweeted this that the disparity can have a pullback and i had done that short trade uh, i also tweeted this last friday and my perspective was price may take a support at 42900 so my short trade got closed here and i waited for the first bullish pattern to happen so if i come again on the fndo chart i'll just show that fndo chart also so that bullish pattern confirmation was on a pnf, PNF uh, number top yeah, PNF. on a lower time lower so now here we are, we are having the price trading above the uh, channel so till yeah. it remains above the channel all pullbacks become a an uh, opportunity to go fresh Look long. Long, yes. so now we have the bank nifty chart open and i have taken 0.8% uh, 0.08% uh, intraday time frame on one so uh, if i draw the intraday lines this was the last friday correction yes. and later on monday we had a double top buy happening yeah. so this double top buy uh, got somewhere around 42900 only so this became a that, fresh... that was a level which where you were looking for right, it right. went to 42600 42, gave a buy again at 42 yeah so this was a confirmation with a double bottom sell as a stop loss so we don't trade just based on the uh, view that we create looking at the chart so the double bottom sell was a stop loss and somewhere here 42900 was a buy so this was a low risk entry currently if i see i have this uh, column where i can plot upside vertical counts so these vertical counts are giving me a 44800 uh, target yeah but again i must mention that these vertical counts are just indicative in nature that doesn't mean that that target will definitely come your view should be always right. based on the what is the risk now yeah i i will definitely get out if i get a bearish pattern yes and if i come to a eod chart of the same box value if i come on the daily time frame so if we plot if we plot moving averages uh the sorry vertical counts from the eligible column yeah we are also getting more or less 44,800. So today we are right now uh, closed at a double top buy pattern. And uh, let us hope that if we keep on going, so we might get some pullbacks. There can be column of O on EOD. Yeah. Uh, maybe Bank Nifty can have some correction of half a percent or maybe 1% in coming days where the disparity will also get cooled and we will keep on getting fresh bullish patterns so right now until we have follow through bullish patterns above sma that becomes a objective trading concept yeah look at the risk at the time of the trade we we know at times we might be the last buyer the buyer at the top but we should be always concerned about the risk that is yeah, but with the same with the same theory you were also one of the first buyers at the bottom on first day. yeah so we were looking structurally bullish stocks yeah. where we were getting some reversal patterns Correct. so those also we will discuss here now when we were discussing about the reversal pattern i was taking a monthly chart of stocks where the structurally bullish uh, sentiments like 20 ema is always above 50 ema yes and 50 ema the 20 EMA is never gone below and correction of stock, the price it correction never close below, the 20 below 50 EMA. also and it recovers and comes above 20. Yeah. For this, uh, you can always refer to the video which we are talking about, uh, which was on 1st April. 1st April, yeah. So, I'll show some examples. So, I am opening a Bajaj Finance chart and I am going to the monthly time frame. So, once we come to the monthly time frame and I, so I am plotting double moving average 20 EMA and 50 EMA. So here, after I take the monthly time frame chart, we can see last time also above 50 EMA, the correction halted price start to started to go up. This was the last month candle when we uh, were talking that we were seeing some bullish signs and price had come till 50 EMA. Right. So we were looking at a column reversal here as an entry pattern. So if I come to the point and figure chart, for investing strategies, we use 3% box value. Yeah, on cash. On cash. So here, if I come to the 3% chart, the column reversal has happened and this is also a small bear trap. So yes. the column reversal was around 
टाइटन I can come back and in fact there are some auto stocks which are making lifetime high right. i think previous motors so this is titan we can see it is again uh, rallied so <laughs> this stock was discussed that time where we were looking at the column reversal as a entry yeah so the next column reversal again happened and we are again in the trade so in fact now it is close to a double top yeah, of 3% yes so my my entry was at the first column reversal which was again a bear trap uh, like possibility bajaj here like bajaj finance so these are the structurally bullish stocks second thing if we see the lows or the swing lows that are formed on the uh, previous years so 2020 low was somewhere here 2021 low was somewhere here 2020 low was somewhere here so we also have higher, higher highs lows. and uh, higher lows and higher highs and we are getting follow through patterns right so follow through pattern is one of the concepts which is time tested by our team and we have amazing results when we enter into follow through trades yeah so th these are all the types of methods we can implement till market remains bullish we can look for follow through buy we can also see which are the stocks which are recovering above 20 ema so yeah. uh, we can just go through a scanner so i'll just explain how to see current stocks recovering from 20 ema so if i come to system back testing i can build a system here i can go to ohlc so i'll add a system price above 20 ema Okay, that is the name of the name of the uh, so this is price name is of the scanner. yeah scanner so price is coming means it is not above it is crossing above from below from below so here i can take this condition i can select moving average in this moving average what i am looking is price is closing above moving average and right. i am taking 20 ema Right. For that candle, I also want low should be going below, below 20. twenty. So if I again select twenty moving average EMA, here I can see low below EMA. Yeah. So the low of that candle should be below twenty EMA, but low should be above. Yeah, 20. and structurally bullish, we take double moving average. So double moving average is. DMA one above DMA two, so my one DMA is twenty EMA and fifty. So I have structurally the EMAs are bullish and price has crossed twenty EMA and recovered above twenty right. EMA. So here I can scan this pattern. Price crossing from uh, below about twenty. All three, one and two yeah. and three. So if I close this scanner, I can again come my uh, come to my. i take ohlc scanner nifty 500 group nifty 500 group yeah. we we are taking some uh, base group where the liquidity and all the issues are already sorted and i select monthly, monthly. this is very important yeah select monthly and i press the scan so even if you select monthly today it will still show full may till now as monthly yes correct so these are the stocks where we see prices have crossed below 20 and recovered above 20 so asian paint is one of the name which is was in a correction yeah we see it was in a correction so currently i can look for trading in fndo also yeah. in 1% so we, let me just open the pnf chart for asian paints so on a higher time frame we can see we just get a opportunity to enter into one of the investing strategies we just have a column reversal we know structurally it is bullish yeah. here also we see os are uh, showing higher lows and my double bottom sell will be the stop loss right. so even if the pattern fails i am out so we are not becoming abhimanyu as we discussed yeah. in the earlier uh, rubaru 
so here i can also have intermediate trading strategies if i get any pullback and a double top buy that becomes a trading opportunity so you go to a lower percentage box. lower percentage so if i if i am dealing in fndo we can see we really have a good anchor column and i suppose whenever we get a pullback we will get a double top buy maybe even we break the down sloping trend line here so this is indicating that the uh, correction the uh, supply is over the consolidation yeah. is over and we might have a trend resuming oh, yeah. so there are lot of concepts we can understand we can practice based on these uh, so basically concepts. use this list of stocks which have come from the scanner results yes. and then trade the continuation pattern continuation the pattern of. now there are uh, already some stocks which will be about 20 ema yes. so here i have taken the condition low below 20 ema so if I make a scanner, price about 20 EMA and 20 EMA above 50 EMA, there I will also get trending stocks. Right. So we can have these two as a universe, two scanners as a universe, look for bullish stocks, look for either follow through buy in investing in intermediate time frame or in FNO. So uh, this is how it is an objective system. Yeah. And uh, now based on this, I see that there are stocks who consistently remain about 20 EMA. Okay. So for example, I have made a group here for some stocks. So if I close this, so I am looking at this group for trading in FNO bullish uh, patterns. So I have created a group as my FNO mm. and I have some stocks which are structurally bullish based okay. on the 20-50 EMA that we discussed. So now I have made a group of these stocks. I can take a weighted average index and understand how this group has historically performed. Okay. So what I will do is I will go to chart. In the chart option, I have a weighted average index yes, of, so this group. of this group. So I let me take it from 2000. Okay. There are many stocks which are listed more than 20 years. Yeah. So if I take the weighted average index, I get a green line which is if I zoom out, I can see the performance even historically. Mm. So either it is sideways, either it is trending, either uh, it is in correction mode, something will keep on happening in this group. But if I see the longer picture, overall trend is, overall really trend is bullish. bullish. There was some sideways price action and this sideways is nothing but market was correcting during uh, this phase. If you remember in October 21, Nifty has made a top and yes. after that top nifty has been sideways bank nifty has been sideways and that is why our portfolio seems like sideways but we did not get deep correction in fact now, this portfolio came down the least least so now i can even check a point and figure chart for this yes. so for for plotting a point and figure chart we need to use this data and plot the chart in my market so people yeah. who know my market option you can come to options come to manage data and come to my market. So everything is given here. What field is required, CSV file, where the file is required. So basically here, you have to export this data to a CSV file. Yes. And then arrange the columns uh, as per this. As per. So here, this is the folder where I need to export the CSV file. And the file format is uh, having six columns, date, open, high, low, close and volume. Yeah. Everything is given here. So now, let me export this weighted average index to a CSV file. So if I export it directly even in my market, I know it is this folder where I need to. So this is my, my FNO. Yeah. So I'll overwrite this because there is already one existing. Mm. So if I open that my FNO file in my market, if I come here, I get this file. So I need to change the date format. The date yeah. format was given as a DDMMYY. So here the date format DD-MM-YYY. So I need to keep this in the format DDMMYY. I'll just go to the format. format. I'll come to custom and I'll just... In fact, this, this method also is... The same method which is used for uh, importing foreign stocks, which yes. we had talked about once, American stocks. So we will see some stocks. example of US stocks also and I save this format. So if I save this and I will close the Excel file. Now if I come to the chart and 
plot point and figure chart i go to my, my market, market and my fndo is the so if i go to a uh, 0.25% let us see first so this is how my portfolio is looking right now it is a breakout oh. and if i see the long term uh, view of the portfolio so here so i this can this low was that uh, covid low the this, this, low in between yeah huh. this low is a covid low we see uh, so these stocks also recovered faster yeah though. this also did now currently these are also performed now i can also check a, a relative strength versus within uh, the group within the group so i i can come here and take the rs for my market yeah so i have my fndo stocks as a group where i am looking only to trade bullish patterns in this group of stocks and i can take nifty 500 as the benchmark, benchmark. and i can look for maybe let us go to 1% box yeah. value so if i open a relative strength chart can you see that it is the group is uh, the numerator out is outperforming outperforming nifty 500 nifty 500 that means it is doing much better than nifty 500 and during uptrends we get series of bullish pattern yes. so what i think is now if we uh, have such series of bullish pattern after sideways market if we again have so earlier we had a correction we had a sideways uh, columns and then a series of double top buy yeah. so if we if we start a similar type of trend these stocks will definitely perform so i will remove all the stocks which go below 20 ema and okay. replace them with the fresh stocks so okay. this group also so can be do the churning between the groups. right so we can rebalance the group and keep the uh, winners here exactly we can do the opposite way to see underperformers if you want to do some bearish trades mm. So the underperformers will remain underperformers. In fact, this is a good way to construct a portfolio on the basis of technical analysis, right. technical where analysis. this is a long-term portfolio where you keep churning the stocks, which, like you said, uh, any stock which goes below closes below 20 EMA on a monthly basis, remove it, which means sell it, and maybe some other stock has come right. above 20 EMA, add that. Yes. So even if we come to the scanner now, I'll show you one thing where I have a system on PNF where I am looking for price above MA and ST. That means price above uh, moving average and it's super trend. Yeah. That means entire must. So this is the scanner. Yeah. Price is above moving average, price is above super trend. How I can use this? So I come to scanner and on EOD scanner I take P and F RS, RS scanner. Scan. So in RS scanner, I'll take a group uh, of Nifty 500. So Nifty 500 becomes the denominator, yeah. and the group also becomes Nifty 500. So script group is Nifty 500. So it will take all Nifty 500 stocks oh. and compare with the index. So here I can take a user defined uh, menu, and I can take price above ma and st yeah so if i if i'm looking for investing strategies i'll use a three percent box value okay. and if i have a group of stocks which are trading above both on rs i can open a chart like let us take an example of apl apollo so if i open this i can see consistently this has been a, up, a out performer yes so on such basis we can create a group where so we see chart of apl apollo upon nifty 500 yes so nifty 500 is a denominator this stock has outperformed nifty 500 right. we never get a double bottom sell pattern below sma so or below uh, must we have never break out so where we have such long term uh, green cloud above the columns we can make a universe of those stocks so let us uh, again see one more stock bajaj holding so here we can see right now it has popped up. It has so, become bullish. Yeah, so when it goes below the MAST, we can remove it from the list. When it comes up, we can rebalance so it. So this is another way of constructing a portfolio. Yes. So this again helps. And you now make a group and trade that group based on the individual price pattern. Correct. So this is how so we in can... Fact, so what he has explained is there are two different methods of uh, identifying stocks for uh, investing in long term. One is the MA20 and MA50 crossover and uh, stocks above MA20, closing above MA20. And the other is a completely point and figure method where the stock is above uh, super trend as well as the MA. 
so that is one list this is one list yes. so maybe uh, whichever you, uh, suits your uh, yeah. method uh, you can use the information you will get same whether yeah. we see price strength on candlestick or pri- because this is nothing but a charting method whether it is a point and figure yeah. or candlestick or renko it will give you yeah, same effectively what it means is most of the stocks will be common in both the common lists. so now I can have a group for investing as well as the same group I can use for trading F&O right. momentum. So this becomes now doing bullish trading structurally strong stocks will definitely help because whenever there is a demand, these stocks will definitely outperform the current absolutely, market. Absolutely, yeah. So we should always look for outperformers, trade continuation patterns. And yeah. So this was an extremely interesting uh, rule based system even for long term where you are never uh, stuck with uh, the underperformer right. or you, you never become abhimanyu you are constantly looking for where to exit which stock to exit and which stock to re-enter maybe towards the end of a bull run let's say you have 20 stocks in your portfolio maybe five seven eight might already give an exit so you are out of them maybe you are left with only three four stocks right. in your portfolio but that's how market is so because in a let's say a bear run start at some point of time right you will not end up having any stock so that is automatically something which uh, protects your portfolio and uh, you can uh, keep trading this uh, almost any time of the year. So uh, mm-hmm. just before uh, we end our uh, presentation, we can also see when was the lowest uh, correction of Nifty and from there, how mm-hmm. can we understand momentum? So okay. if I open an OHNC chart on Nifty 50, so if we open a low OHLC chart of Nifty 50 and I'll remove all the other study, we just want to look at the lowest swing, yeah. the current lowest swing. So during this uh, correction, uh, after we made a top in November 2022, we had this correction and the lowest swing somewhere was around uh, 20th of March. So 20 March we see we had the lowest swing and if I come again to the performance table, if I come to the performance table, so I take the lowest swing date 20th, 20th March as my starting date. So 20th March till today. And if I take all the FN, let us just consider about the FNO. Okay. This can be implied for any group. And if I run a scan, I know that Nifty has recovered 1000 points from that low level right now and which are the stocks which are outperforming. So if Nifty has uh, regained 6-7% from the lows, which stocks have uh, outperformed Nifty I can understand here. So Chola Finance, Auro Pharma, Mahindra Finance, Tata Motor. So there are a lot of names which are uh, we we see which are in more than two digits right now. So anytime you get any pullback and a follow through trading opportunity here i yeah, see but the, uh, to be honest the problem is a lot of people face uh, is fear of heights so i will sir i will definitely like to share one of my trades where i entered the trade when the stock was 300% up from the 52 week low okay and from there just i'll show the picture so the stock is so Column reversal above moving average is my entry. So yeah. this column reversal here, this this column. So price came above moving average. Now you can see the low price. The low price is 558. Mm-hmm. And the column reversal price is around 1619. Three times. So it is 300% up from the 52 week low. Now people who fear heights just calculate the exit got at the high pole here. So the high pole got triggered around 8,700. From 1,600. Yeah. It, so it, it went is, five times from there. If I, if uh, you allow me, I'll open my ledger now and show so you the required. We position. are not all into that. But what he's trying to say is it had gone up by three times and then he got the entry. From there, it went up five times. Yes. So there is no need of fear of fight. Yes, there is a stop loss. So even here, there what I loss. say is at the time of entry, you know your stop loss. Correct. Even if I was the last buyer here. I would have given 12-15% as a stop loss yeah. and we don't trade our entire wealth for the one position. Correct. We always have the position, position sizing is also, important. also important. So if I maybe if I am doing a position size of 50,000 rupees per investment, this was a 50,000 position with a risk 12%. Of yeah, with a risk of 12%. So uh, it works in my favor. I don't know. Yeah. If it doesn't, I know where to get out. 
so don't be afraid of heights try to trade follow through patterns and uh, this is one concept where you can look for pullbacks and later on buys so in fact this is a very not only now uh, this can be done continuously look at the performance level look at the outperformers right. and keep looking for uh, pullbacks and continuation pattern in those so similarly when nifty starts to correct like we saw nifty corrected from november yeah. so maybe let us take from maybe 30th november yeah. so this is 30th november 2022 and till 20th march yeah we'll just take till 20th march so even before 20th march if you would have saw this and let us take the underperformance because we are in a correction mode. So maybe people like to look for uh, sell trades. So if we see that market is correcting or after maybe Nifty has corrected 500, 600 points from there also we start that this was the swing top and how. So here we see more than 50%, 30% corrections have happened. Go to the charts and just see how many um, uh, opportunities we would have got. Uh, for trading trading follow through so here market. even a one minute time frame chart gives me a opportunity to enter into a short, short trade. Yeah. take the chart on 0.15 percent plot must whenever we get a bearish breakout on must try to the short. same strategy we, we should explain in techno yes yeah. so under performers can be traded in the downside out performers can be traded in the upside so, so yeah another problem which people face is they cannot be all rounders they are either a batsman or a bowler for like you are an order, you do the long trade as well as short trades. <clears throat> that is another problem with traders face, but then that is life. You, you yes. have to be an all rounder to if, get money. Sir, if we really practice to follow price, it will be very easy whether it is a long trade or a short trade. If we are uh, able to get that conviction that we just need to follow the price, <clears throat> let it go anywhere. Why it is going, we don't know. What is happening? And, but this is a very, a very important thing which is said. A lot of people keep asking why. First of all, let me be honest, no one knows why. No one in this no world knows why Maruti is rallying, why this is falling. Yeah. No one knows. Just follow the price and that's all. Yes. So, don't go for any news. Look what you see. Trade what you see. and Not what you feel. Not what you think or what you feel. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Vital. So, we hope you like this video and this was a continuation to the video which we did on 1st April. And uh, if and when the market tops out, we'll definitely come back with uh, some bearish setup. But as of now, it is still a buy on dips uh, as long as uh, structurally it is still positive. Uh, maybe I might be early in saying that. But uh, if it reverses, like you said, you just exit with your stop loss and look for bearish opportunities. It is as simple as that. But of course, it is easier said than done. But that is the way to become a successful trader, investor like him. And we hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel, share it and like this video. Thank you. Thank you.